MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the Sunshine State and Marlins Park in Miami. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the New York Yankees and the Miami Marlins. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head to head next. David Rosario, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan, any thoughts? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's Leading mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his off. debut. Here's DJ the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. He will lead this one off today. Here comes the first pitch. And we are underway this afternoon from Miami as the first pitch is taken for ball one. First pitch, one o'clock. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected, 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Rojas comes up with it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath, and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Into the box now, Gio Urshela, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Good luck, first pitch of the at bat. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Step out of the box and wash that one off because that was an ugly swing. A one pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingsley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated that fastball. Third. Every hitter baseman. thinks that, hey, they can do David. something with that. But Rosario. most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box, David Rosario. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1 0 home. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go 1 2 3, and now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Luis Severino gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Luis Severino's really turned himself into an all-around pitcher. Came out of the bullpen early in his career for the Yankees. Big fastball, 96 to 100 miles an hour. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better. And one of the things he does better than anybody in the league right now, maintains his velocity. He'll be 96, 97 in the first, 96, 97 in the seventh or eighth. Power Rob arm, one of the best all-around arms in the game. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. The windup and the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now.
Now the 0 2 pitch. And he misses there, one and two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the move is Stanton. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Yeah, you know, I love what the Grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Standing in, Miguel Rojas. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's one for three. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. One out, nobody on. Hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Ready to deliver the one and two. Fastball just inside. Here now the two two. Look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. The first baseman, Brian Anderson. Next from Miami, Brian Anderson. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here we go. Nope. And that misses for ball one. Now the 1 0. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that's off the left field wall. He'll get it into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Four. Yeah, he was definitely not looking off yeah. speed on that pitch. I'll Cooper. tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Bring in Garrett Cooper as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. These are the moments you can't relax. You never know when you're going to be able to score a few runs off a great pitcher. Here's the spot right here early. Have to find a way. You're happy with one, but if someone can catch a gap, this game could get out of hand pretty quick. One and one. Now the count of the Marlins' first baseman. Popped him up. Sanchez is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Stepping into the box, Aaron Judge. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Number 99, Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Uh, less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, Dero, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. That is it. All right, the here's a defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's take a look at Curtis Granderson. He stood the test of time. Former center fielder, can play both corners as well. Known for picking them up and putting them down. This guy can go get them in the gaps. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Oh, wow. That's what they call it. Jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Here's the 0 and 2. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great that's to begin the start. That's the already three Ks Gary. for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. And there's number eight, one away. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now with the play, Jorge Alfaro. He looked to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. First offering on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Behind 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Tried to get him out front, but it's a ball 1-2. and two. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there. But even better job at the plate to take that one. The one two is at the knees and called strike three. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And let's focus on outfielder Brett Gardner. You need a center fielder, he can play there. You need a corner spot, he's got that covered too. He has baseball acumen, awareness, a savvy for the game. Even if the offense lags a little bit, defense is always on point. Digging in, Diaz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hey! And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Bottom of the second here with no score. This is in the air to left. Stanton giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Ready now for the Marlins. Curtis Granderson will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And the first pitch to the 38 year old veteran is in for a called strike. Nothing in one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Behind 0 and 2 now. Ready with the 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Miami down in order. Will move to the third with no score. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fouled away. Oh, 
check swing here in a little looper and this is taken for the out. Batting eight, the center fielder number 11. Brett. So stepping in Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at bat. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0 and 1. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 and 2. After that off balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat. Visualizing hitting a home run. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. For me, check swings are right there 40. next to bang bang Louis. place at first Deferino. as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Stepping in now, Luis Severino. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. <laughs> Fastball hit on the ground is short. Rojas is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Ready now, Monty Harrison. Winning for the Marlins. The center field. Here's the first pitch to him. Harrison. In there, no balls and a strike. All one's the count. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Oh, I love this, boys. Mano y mano. He's coming to get him with back-to-back big-time heaters. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. Now the one and one pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The one, two. And it's fouled away. The next one two pitch. Oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. Two up two down on strikes in this inning. He now looks really it. sharp the out there fielder. guys. Harold Ramirez. Into the box now Harold Ramirez. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. That's out to left. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row. He's set down now as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Digging in, DJ LeMayhew back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. 
Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. The 0 2 delivery. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead now and they count 0 2 the and then start working outside the zone. Easier Urshella. said than done, but that's the way you do it. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Who oh, has him looking silly here? It's 0 and 2. Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0 2. Step out, deep breath, adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. Liner towards second. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. Hey, D. Rowe, there's a case of trying to now sneak a piece of cheese by a guy piece. after starting off David. with back to back off oh, speed sorry, pitches, uh, has him 0 2 and can't get that fastball by him. Yeah, you're doing him a favor right there. You got him dead to right, 0 2. You can expand the zone, you can go north, south, east, west, and what does he do? He leaves a fastball, a hittable fastball, and he was able to get a knock. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 pitch. A bullet to first base. And he is out on the tag. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. To the bottom of inning number four, we go. And we are tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready for another chance. Miguel Rojas is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Owen won the count. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. I'd be shocked if you saw anything else but a fastball right here. He's blown those first two by him. Don't give this guy a chance to speed up his bat with something off speed. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. So with now one away, it. let's punch Third up the graphic and show you the Ryan. pitch speed comparison for the two Andrew starters here in the fourth inning. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Stepping into the box, Brian Anderson. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about now six batting. pitches, two the strikeouts? Doesn't get much Garrett. better than that. Cooper. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter. Garrett Cooper comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Oh man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. These are the at-bats that can just flat out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count, and now you find yourself down 0-2, scratching your head, because every quadrant's open for the pitcher now. To one and two now. The one-two. 
He is swung on and missed strike three. Miami down in order through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here's Big Aaron Judge. Aaron. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. So earlier in the broadcast, we mentioned that we might be seeing a pitcher's duel today, and these two guys have certainly delivered on that promise. Yeah, Matty, executing a game plan to a T. Both guys with big power arms, establishing the fastball, and then using their off speed to get these guys and keep them honest. You know what, Dero, in the day and age where we're seeing a lot of high scoring games, it's kind of refreshing to see two pitchers on point like they are in this one. Runs going to be at a premium. Both these guys look super locked in. Oh, and two, here it comes. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there, and he's out. Now a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside Four. and gets the soft grounder for the out. Now in the box, Torres. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that Here's one. Up. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Granderson's after it. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now for the Yankees, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. That's a Line drive to center field. Harrison is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting, the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Ready with the 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Stanton playing here in his age 29 season. He was taken in the second round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. And they did it with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Torres stands at second with two gone. And he struck him out with seven for the ball game, and that ends the inning. Yanks leave one. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. 
until they start being more selective with their swings. He said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Stepping in, Jorge Alfaro. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control, 0 and 2. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Hit out towards second. Torres picks it up. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, number 91. Plank Diaz fly down in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. No runs just one hit and no errors in the game for the Marlins. A ball and a strike. Hey I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. The one one home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Not too often you see a changeup come across it. 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just no, throw man. the ball as hard as they Throw can, and where it ends up Curtis. isn't that big of a concern, but that Landers, wasn't the uh, case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. It is Curtis Granderson, two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. The pitch. Now a swing and a miss there from Granderson, and he's quickly down here 0 and 2. Somebody needs to tell his hitter he better get it going, or that bat's going to get blown out of his hands. Those are two horrific late swings. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Here's Brett Gardner now. Over for one for him here in this one. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. Solo shot to right center as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here is not the end of the world. The pitcher of the 40, Louis. Severino. In now, Luis Severino. As he'll follow one into the dirt and come up empty for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Let's go. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. 
I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Down the third baseline. No outs, nobody on. Hit weakly back to the mound. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now batting, shortstop, DJ LeMahieu. So coming to the plate, DJ LeMahieu, 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east-west. Not the case anymore. The 0-1. A swing and a ground ball to third. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Bases are empty. One man out. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. It's not that yeah, easy that. to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Standing in now, Gio Urshela, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the set. It's now 1-0 New York. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Monty Harrison. He'll start we things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake fielder. things up here for Monty. a lineup that, quite frankly, Harrison. has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched now at this point. One hit for five through. innings. I mean, Davis. what else can you say about the pitching they oh, face yeah. other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Into the box, David Rosario. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Grounder down the line at third. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Harold Ramirez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. I know it goes without saying but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game pounding the zone. Throw over to first and he'll dive back in. And another throw over. Rosario, base runner at first with one out. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Get 
Weak rounder back to the mound. LeMayhew for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees are out in front, one to nothing. Welcome back to South Florida. Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Digging in now for the Yankees, David Rosario. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Harrison is in pursuit. He's there and records the first down. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. One of the keys to pitching late in the game's first pitch strikes, and this guy's rolling along. So far, over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Next for the Yankees, the second baseman, Glaber Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Get out of here, get out. First delivery to him on the way. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. The 0-2 home. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they lead it one to nothing. Now batting, Miguel Rojas. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Gartner is there, and he has it for the first down. Now Good batting. contact Third to start out the inning. Thought he might oh, yeah. be on base with some sort of a hit, Anderson. but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping in now, Brian Anderson. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. And there's ball two now. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Nope. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And he's 
struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. In now, Garrett Cooper. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. No hits to this point. Now the 0-2 pitch. Rip down the line. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Here's another 0-2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Miami down in order. They still trail 1-0. Austin Bryce has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 37, Austin. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez as they look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. First pitch of the at bat. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Harrison ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. There's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher. Great day's work any way you look at it. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. No balls and a strike to count. Bryce rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Bases are empty, one man out. It's way the 0 2 pitch struck him out but he'll try for first on the drop third strike and indeed the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first and there are two away now very tight right. ball game so far one nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. First offering on its way. Her ball just misses apparently. 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. The 1 0 home. Sweet. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. One one. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. Another one sent foul.
Another 1-2 delivery. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Granderson is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. 1-2-3 go the Bombers, but they're on top 1-0. Digging in once again, Jorge Alfaro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. The 1-1. One, one. Misses ball two. You got two balls, one strike. Hit in the air to right field. Judge is under it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Pitching Number certainly 91. has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. one nothing our score, as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Coming to the plate now, Diaz. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here we go. Yeah. At the knees, strike one. Oh, one's the count. Side part of the plate, the changeup is in there. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase it. Uh, he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some I'm pine, Rook. Barley. Listen, for almost no, everyone, there. the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big Wonder one. Time. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. High in the air down the right field line. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Julian Fernandez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Number 70, Julian Fernandez. Now playing left. Edwin Encarnacion will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit, leading things off here. Rounded to short. Rojas over to his left. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter, the shortstop, DJ LeMahieu. Digging in now, DJ LeMahieu. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. Here's the first pitch to him. Wait. Oh, and won the count. Fernandez, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's a second year big leaguer. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Behind 0 and 2 now.
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the oh, game he was eight. hoping to have when he was taking oh, batting eight. practice, but at yeah. least his guys are ahead. Oh, cool. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. Swinging a soft liner. Off balance throw, gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. So nothing in the Bombers' ninth. Last chance coming up now for Miami. They trail here, one nothing. Your attention, please. Now so with a safe situation on tap, they'll Number hand the ball over to a formidable Aroldis force indeed. Chapman. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. At the plate, Monty Harrison, Whittier, 0 for 2 on Aroldis. the afternoon so far. The center fielder, Monty Harrison. First delivery to him on the way. 8, 9, and 1 to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball 1. One and one to count. Here it comes on one and one. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Monty Harrison now is dealt it. with for the first the out fielder. in the bottom of the inning. Strickland Castro please. will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Number 13. Darlin. And a ball 1 0. Castro just rakes left handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. Into the corner and slicing foul. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. The one two. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Into the box now, Harold Ramirez, inside, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The New York Yankees wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Luis Severino pitches well enough to get the W. David Rosario is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. One run on three hits. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game. A swift two hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.